Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson is a novel, a thriller. It is a mosh to murder mystery novels. It's about Malcolm Kershaw. He is a co-owner of Devil's Books, uh, a used bookstore. Um, they have a lot of stuff, but mostly crime thriller novels. They have their, um, their regulars. He runs the store with two others. And uh, one day an FBI agent shows up and she basically says, you wrote an art, a listicle uh, many years ago about eight perfect murders. Um, they are murders from eight different books, uh, some of them classics, like, and then there are uh, uh, like Strangers on a Train or uh, ABC Murders by Agatha Christie. Uh, however, she has a theory that a killer is killing uh, people with these methods. And he sort of taken aback because it was just some listicle he made. But then as uh, they investigate, they find out that there may be someone involved in this. It's someone close to Malcolm. And then we also get some sort of flashbacks about Malcolm's past and how it's related to everything going on in the investigation. So first off, the book is pretty good paced, uh, really good pacing. Um, it has like, you know, the starting hook of like the FBI getting involved in him his listicle and everything and then we get some flashbacks about like his tragedy his tragic past and involving his wife and then you know he's, he's a lot more involved than you think he is uh, the only thing I didn't like about this book is that it does spoil the other eight books that the the um, that they mention the uh, gives away the plot details and the endings of those books I, I none of them were really on my list but you know, it might be bumming out and it, it kind of relies too much on on those books. It almost feels like um, they expound way too much on these other books. It almost feels like a crutch of sorts. Like if he created eight fictional books, it might have been, you know, better, but he didn't. Uh, overall, also the the third act is a little bit weird. Not 100% satisfying. I was going to give this a higher rating, but then it sort of fell off a little bit. Uh, so overall, Eight Perfect Murders has a wicked uh, pace, a pretty good hook, decent story characters. You know, third act, a little weak. Uh, didn't like how he sort of, you know, relied too much on these uh, the knowledge of these other eight books and he kept like, talking about them. But overall, it's still an entertaining read. So I give Eight Perfect Murders a three and a half out of five.